Hello, Junk Wax Investor community. Hope you're ready for some sports, magazines, and programs. We'll be looking at the top 15 that sold on eBay last month. Got a pretty awesome list here for you. And like our other videos, I put together a nice selection of bonus listings at the end as well. So make sure you stay tuned for those. You don't want to miss them. All right, let's not waste any more time and get into the list. All right, this is a new one. So we'll see how it goes. Thinking of doing this as a monthly video. Next month, it'll be out a lot earlier. This one took me a bit of time to figure out and get used to where to find the information for these magazines and programs but pretty awesome content in here and excited to share it with you guys starting things off in the 15th spot from 1976 we have the november 22nd sports illustrated issue the nfl's new stars with walter payton on the cover and it sold at auction for 660 dollars In the 14th spot from 1927, we have Reach Sports Equipment Catalog, Spring and Summer of 27. We got some awesome photos in here. Baseball players Mickey Cochran, Jimmy Fox, Eddie Collins, features on the inside in raw condition. Sold at auction for $812.02. In the 13th spot from 1955, we have a Sports Illustrated magazine with Ted Williams on the cover in raw condition. Sold at auction for $827.87. In the 12th spot from 1942, we have the NFL Championship Program. Washington Redskins vs. Chicago Bears in raw condition. That was a best offer sale for $850. In the 11th spot, we got a 1956 Sports Illustrated, Volume 4, Number 25. We have Mickey Mantle, The Year of the Slugger cover in raw condition. Sold at auction for $886. In the number 10 spot from 1977, we have the Sports Illustrated, Larry Bird, College Basketball Secret Weapon cover in raw condition. Sold at auction for $910. In the number 9 spot from 1926, we have the World Series program. St. Louis Cardinals versus New York Yankees. You got the lineup there with Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig for the Yankees in raw condition. Sold at auction for $937.99. How awesome is that? In the number eight spot, we have a 1913 college football program, the Minnesota Golden Gophers at the University of Nebraska Corn Huskers in raw condition. Sold at auction for $1,136. This program's 110 years old. Wow, get that thing slabbed. Moving on, we have a tie for the sixth spot. First up from 1918, we have a Chicago White Sox and Detroit Tigers program with Ty Cobb on there in the list. In raw condition was a fixed price sale for $1,200. Also in that sixth spot from 1954, we have Sports Illustrated Volume 1, Issue 1. This is the first issue of Sports Illustrated with Eddie Matthews shown on the cover. Graded a near mint plus CGC 9.6. That was a fixed price sale for $1,200. It is a pop of 130 in a near mint plus 9.6. There are 78 higher graded near mint mint 9.8s. In the fifth spot from 1916, we have a World Series program. You got the Dodgers versus the Red Sox at Ebbets Field. In raw condition, sold at auction for $1,651. All right, time to see what we have in the top three. But before we do, just a quick reminder, if you need any hobby supplies, check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description box below. Use the code JUNKWAX10 and save 10% on your order. We actually have a tie for the third spot. First up from 1996 Sports Illustrated, we have volume 85, number 18. This is the first Tiger Woods cover. 
In two months as a pro, he has transformed the entire sport. Graded CGC 9.2. That was a fixed price sale for $2,000. It's a pop of 8. And there are 35 graded higher with the highest being 7. Near Mint Mint CGC 9.8s. Also in that third spot from 2003, we have a Sacramento Kings versus Cleveland Cavaliers opening night program. That is the LeBron James professional debut graded as CGC 9.8 and it was a best offer sale for $2,000. It is a pop of eight and there are none graded higher. In the number two spot from 1983, we have Sports Illustrated Volume 59, number 23, College Basketball Preview with Michael Jordan and Sam Perkins, North Carolina cover, graded as CGC 7.5, and that was a best offer sale for $6,250. That is a pop of nine. In a CGC 7.5 slab, there are 22 graded higher, with highs being one near mint plus 9.6. And top in the list for January in the number one spot from 1981 Sports Illustrated, we have volume 55, number 16, the great Gretzky, best player in the NHL, graded to CGC, near mint 9.4, and that was a best offer sale for $14,998. That is a pop of only three, and a 9.4, there's one higher graded near mint mint 9.8, wow. All right, that's it for the top 15 for January. Let me know in the comments below which one of these were your favorite. What do you think of this new format? The new video with the magazines and programs? Give me your thoughts down below and take a second and hit that like button. Now let's get into some extra bonus listings as well. First up, we have a three magazine lot here from 2022 Slam Magazine. We have gold editions. These are numbered to 94. So very limited. Uh, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron James. All raw condition. Nothing graded. It was a fixed price sale for $289.99. Not super familiar with the magazines and everything yet. Still getting into this part of the collectibles hobby. However, these seem pretty interesting. The gold editions numbered to only 94. From 2021, Sports Illustrated Volume 132, number 12. We have the Trey Young and Luka Doncic cover, graded as CGC 9.8, and that was a best offer sale for $500. It is a pop of 79 and a 9.8 slab. There's an ungraded higher. From 1963, we have the Sports Illustrated June 19th edition. It's a Muhammad Ali cover. New stand issue, no label, and raw condition sold at auction for $432. From 1984 Sports Illustrated, we have volume 61, number 26, Michael Jordan cover with the Bulls, graded CGC 7.5, sold at auction for $449. It's a pop of 3 and a 7.5 slab. They're 24 graded higher, with the highest being 2 near mint, mint 9.8s. From 1972, we have the Muhammad Ali versus Jerry Quarry program in raw condition. It was a fixed price sale for $500. These old programs are pretty awesome. A lot of interesting information in them. And I really like looking at the old ads and all these old magazines and programs like this. From 2002 Sports Illustrated, we have a commemorative issue for the 2001 Super Bowl champions, Tom Brady Patriots, graded as CGC 9.0, sold at auction for $305. It's a pop of 12 and a 9.0. They're 112 graded higher, with the highest being 17 near mint mint 9.8s. From 1980 Sports Illustrated, volume 52, number 9. We have the 1980 Winter Olympics U.S. Hockey Miracle on Ice cover, graded as CGC 7.5. That was a best offer sale for $550. It's a pop of 9 and a 7.5 slab. There are 26 graded higher, with the highest being 1 near mint, mint 9.8. From 1956, Sports Illustrated Volume 4, number 25. We have the Mickey Mantle, the Year of the Slugger cover, one of these... And raw condition was in the top 15. This is a CGC Restored 4.0. It 
and it sold at auction for $485. So it did show a picture. There was some coloring in on some of the creases on the cover. Not very much, but enough to give it a restored label. It's a pop one and they keep the restored pops separately. However, there's 24 graded higher that are non-restored with the highest being two near mint plus 9.6s. From 1991 Sports Illustrated Volume 75 Number 27, we have a Michael Jordan Sportsman of the Year hologram cover. Grade is CGC 9.6 and it was a fixed price sale for $450. I remember this cover, I had this magazine, it's a pop at 30 with 24 graded higher and those are 24 near mint mint 9.8s. From 1974 Sports Illustrated, we have the Evil Knievel cover newsstand Edition has no label and raw condition, sold at auction for $292. From 2019 Sports Illustrated Volume 130, number 34, we have the Joe Burrow cover, graded CGC 9.4, sold at auction for $645. That's a pop of 7 in a CGC 9.4 slab, there's none graded higher. From 2018 Sports Illustrated, Volume 128, number 7, we have Shoyo Tani and Mike Trout cover, graded as CGC 9.6. That was a fixed price sale for $275. It's a pop of 7 in the, C in the CGC 9.6 lab. There are 15 higher graded near mint mint 9.8s. From 1920, The Sporting News, we have a Babe Ruth cover. New home run record during season of 1919 with Boston Red Sox in raw condition sold at auction for $490. How awesome is that? From 1991 Sports Illustrated, we have Shaq, the real deal cover in raw condition sold at auction for $281. And we're going to finish it up. This is pretty neat. This is a lot of 50 college football programs, all from the 1930s, all in raw condition, nothing graded. Sold at auction for $486.98, so just under $10 per program. That's probably a pretty good deal, at least from what I've seen of some of the other vintage programs selling on here. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cars were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. Truly appreciate the support. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.